Hello and welcome back to the Technical Effects YouTube channel. Thank you guys for being here and watching this video. Um, hope you all had a great week last week in the markets. And this week, I'm gonna be bringing you a different kind of video, uh, a bit more educational. Very often, people ask me how to frame a directional bias um, or how to do top-down analysis. And that is what I'm gonna cover in this video, okay? Um, and it's three simple steps, really, in this video that I'm gonna teach you um, to help you be able to have um, top-down analysis approach and it's from things that I teach on this video on this YouTube channel so if there's anything that I talk about in the video then do go back to the channel and take a look at the playlists because there is playlists for everything that I'm going to talk about in this video um, we want to first of all bring up a text box uh, we'll make this big and we are going to go through the three steps okay actually first of all let's write the time frames because you're going to be doing this over three time frames uh, you can of course go further down the time frames but you want to be doing it on the weekly the daily and the four hour time frame that's what we're going to do in this video so we've got time frames and we'll duplicate that and then you're going to do three steps process okay um, so step one is always the market structure which I've taught on this channel so many times step two is area of interest okay which as I've taught on this channel in balance we're going to be using in balance as the area of interest and then we have step three which is where is price likely to head to okay where is price likely to head to all right so those are the three things that we're going to be looking at across each time frame now we're starting off with the weekly time frame as you can see here we're going to be going down from the weekly to the daily to the four hour time frame um i've just picked uh gb pound cad here um randomly uh because it does have as, as well potential opportunity um next week so pretty good market to break down uh from the top down so first of all we want to be going over step one the market structure now first of all you guys should be very easily be able to see that the direction of this market is to the upside okay but we don't just use that we want to be looking at the structure of the market so here we can see that we're breaking highs so we have higher lows and higher highs on the weekly time frame okay so higher highs higher lows this here is our most recent higher low and this here is our most recent higher high so now we have our weekly market structure it is that simple next step two area of interest well we're looking for an area of imbalance now right here we can see that there is a weekly area of imbalance so weekly imbalance right there we can copy that to put it on the top now if you don't know what imbalance is as i've said i have youtube videos explaining this now if you look at this previous trading range right here you'll see that there's no imbalance that price came into if there's no imbalance on the weekly time frame go into the time frame below okay so you would be going into the daily time frame and looking in that range right there for the daily areas of imbalance but you can see here we have a weekly area of imbalance now we're on the weekly time frame and the step three is where is price likely to head to well we know that market structure flows like this right so every time we break a high and we see a new higher high we expect the market to do what retrace after the market has retraced we expect the market to put in a higher low after that higher low what do we expect the market to do push to the upside and break this high so where is price likely to head to this high right just like here this high here this high okay so where is price likely to head to it's this high 
So now we know that what we're looking for is price to head to the upside into this high, okay? Doesn't mean it's gonna just happen in one week, but this here is our weekly time frame, top-down analysis approach. Now, there is other things that, of course, you can use for your areas of interest. You could use a fib, you could add this on, and you could start to build confluences. However, I'm keeping this a simple three-step process. So right there, we have already done our weekly process. You could also add liquidity and look at this high and this high, so these two highs, as equal highs, as a reason for price to head higher. But there's no need because of in-market structure flow, we expect the market after a pullback to break this high to the upside, okay? But of course, we do this as we go down the time frames. all right? Um, now, if a market's ranging and it's sideways, maybe it's just not a market that is clear for you to trade and you should move on to another market. Simple. However, we're going to now go down into the daily time frame. Okay, so we're now on the daily time frame and we want to be looking at our three step process. So we have market structure. Well, we have this high. Okay, so we push to the upside this high, the lowest point that caused the break above this high. If that doesn't make sense to you, it's because you've not watched my market structure videos. So the lowest point right here caused the break of this high and created this high. This tells us that our daily and weekly structure ranges are the same, okay? So what do we then wanna be looking for? Area of interest, which we're looking at here as imbalance, okay? So if we look from this low into this high for daily areas of imbalance, we can see this area up here got blown through. And then we have this area right here, still available, price dipped into it, but it's still available area of imbalance. And then there is a very, very small area down here on the weekly, okay? Again, for those of you that have followed the YouTube channel, what do I look for when I'm looking for imbalance? I look for stacked areas of imbalance. So we've got a weekly area. I wanna be looking for what? Some daily area of imbalance inside. Right here we have that daily imbalance, okay? So we have that daily imbalance low. Up here we have the daily imbalance high. We can remove the label off of there. There's a possibility price could push down into this area here, okay? So be aware of it. You can mark it on the chart if you wanna have that area on as well, okay? And where is price likely to head to? Well, same as what we looked at before. This is the high so we would overall be expecting price eventually to make its way into this area up here, all right? It's that simple. You can also, as I said a moment ago, you could add a Fibonacci from the low into the high and start to build confluences. You could look at support and resistance. And what do you see happening through here? You see resistance. Draw it to the right. What do you see it as support? You can add other areas of interest, okay? but this is as simple as top-down analysis becomes. So we've now got our daily and weekly direction of our top-down analysis broken down that simple. So now all we need to do, go into the four-hour time frame. okay? So you can see here, it can get a little bit choppy where you can't see price. So what you may wanna do is just drag across your lines, okay? <clears throat> so we'll just drag those across there and I will drag the daily across to there drag this across there. So we now know what, what's happening. So now what do we wanna do on the week, uh, sorry, the four hour time frame right here? Can drag this across here too. Okay, so now what we wanna do is we wanna look at our four hour time frame structures, okay? So in here, we can see that we had higher low. Let's actually do this with a highlighter and we're gonna change the color here. We'll do it with green, okay? Higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. Bit, a bit too shallow, one hour time frame, higher high. What happens here? Market breaks bearish, okay? Four hour time frame right there broke bearish. For those of you that have watched the game, my market structure videos, you will know that for the daily time frame to take a retracement, we need to see the four hour time frame break structures to the downside. As long as the four hour and the daily 
trading range, market structure range are not the same. Okay, so therefore we break to the downside, we then create a low, then we create a lower high, then we create a lower low. Okay, now we've seen price push to the upside and create a higher high. So we've now got the market in bullish structures. Okay, so we can draw a line right here, breaking this to the upside. So our current trading range is this low to this high, a bullish trading range. Okay, so we've established the weekly time frames bullish, the daily time frames bullish, and the four hour time frames bullish. With three time frames aligning, you have high probability conditions. Okay, so therefore, what can we look for? We know that on the weekly and daily, we're looking for the market to come up into this high. So now on the four hour time frame, we need to look for areas of interest. So we're looking between this low and this high for an area of imbalance for price to come and trade into. We can see right here, price did push just beyond this point. Okay, so we did just push just beyond this point. However, we've got a bit of a reaction. There may be something on the one hour time frame, but that's not what I'm looking at and teaching you here. Okay, so four hour time frame imbalance, we did push just beyond this point. But now we want to see where is price likely heading to? Well, on the daily and weekly, it's up here. So is it going to be up here? No. Where on the four hour, we're looking for price head to here. Okay, because that is the market structure flow. Remember what we drew. We drew high, pullback, we break this high. Okay, so if we now have the market has created a lower low, higher high, pullback, we would look for that high. This is exactly what we have right here. So we would be looking at targeting this high right here, which is this high right here, okay? So therefore, we have our top-down analysis complete from the weekly, daily, and four-hour time frame using a very simple approach. Of course, as I've said, you could also, if you wanted to, start to take a look at a fib from that high into that low, right? Sorry, the low into the high. Where does price come? 78.6 retracement. All right, that's where you start to build your confluences around your area of interest. Now, say price was to break this high, okay? And we was to have a higher low and a higher high. This is now a new trading range where I would then look for price to pull back into what? An area of interest. And then where would price likely be heading to? We would be looking at this high right here. Long term, we're looking at this high. But short term, we would be looking at this high right here, right? And the continuation move to the upside. Very, very simple. So you'd be looking at higher low into higher high pullback. What would you be looking for? You'd be looking for an area of potential imbalance, which we do actually have resting right here. So price may come lower into that area there and then you would look for the upside. You could go drop down to the one hour, look for the same thing here, drop down to the 15 minutes, look for the same thing there, and keep going down your timeframes until you have your de de designated timeframe for your entry, right? And that is as simple as it gets with top-down analysis from using the higher timeframe for your direction. If the higher timeframe is unclear, then the market is more likely unclear and not tradable. It's fine. You can move on to another market. There is nothing wrong with moving on to another market. When the market is at this high point, so when the market pulls back and breaks this high, there is nothing that you need to do. So once we've broken this high, there is nothing that you need to do right here. Right? Why? Because we don't buy high. We allow the market to retrace and then we look to trade. If the market does it on the daily and weekly time frame, yes, you could look at counter trend trading down into your area of interest, but that's not where the high probability trades are going to come from. The high probability trades are gonna come from trading in line with the weekly, daily, and four hour time frames when they're in sync. 
that is when your high probability trades are going to come. Okay, let's just go, for example, into the weekly time frame right now, right? And I'm going to hide everything that we've got. Now, take a look at when the market is pushing to the upside. What do you see? Clean moving candles. Here, clean moving candles. Here, clean moving candles. It's at these points when all three time frames are in line. When the market's retracing, it's going to be a lot choppier. Don't get me wrong, you still can do it, right? But your highest probability trading opportunities are going to come when you have all time frame, all three time frames aligned, okay? So you can see here how we've broken this down in order for us to be able to potentially see now price continue to this high, but our first area of target will be this high right here. And of course, I gave you guys a forecast or a scenario of what you could look for once price breaks this high, you can then look for price to retrace into an area of interest, then continue. Yes, as I've said, you can add other things on. For example, you could add on people use supply and demand, right? People may see this as an area of demand, and that's where price retraced into their area of interest. But this here is how you get your market structure from the higher time frame, okay? Which is what you need to have, higher time frame, directional biased. And I hope that this simple, this very simple breakdown of how to produce a three step process, higher time frame biased by using the weekly, daily, and four hour can help you and where price is likely to head to, okay? Because I do very often get questions of how do you break it down from the higher time frames. Now, there is much more detail that you can go into, okay, to see where price is coming into with areas of interest, confluences, etc. cetera. Um, but this is what I wanted to sort of bring to YouTube today. Um, and do let me know in the comments if it's helpful. Um, I hope, it's, hope it is. And if it is, leave a like, comment, let me know. Um, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel. And if there's anything that I've spoken about here that you're unsure of, there's plenty of videos on the YouTube channel that you guys can use to learn each of these things. Okay, so that's it from me this week, guys. I'm wishing you all the best uh, for next week. And uh, as we go into August next month, which starts next week, I wish you guys all the best. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.